The F1 silly season isn't just about filling seats, it's about seismic shifts that change the entire game. Fernando Alonso, the two-time world champion, the eternal enigma, has inked a long-term deal with Aston Martin. This isn't some twilight move for a legend, it's a potential turning point for Alonso, Aston Martin and the whole grid. Let's break down the ambition, the risk and the potential for glorious chaos. Aston Martin isn't holding back. They've built state-of-the-art facilities, secured a long-term deal with Honda engines starting in 2026. It's clear they're serious about competing. This ambition resonates with Fernando Alonso. He recognises a team with the potential and resources to climb to the top, even if it requires a few years of hard-fought battles. He's not interested in a comfortable ride. He wants to shape Aston Martin in his image and become the undisputed leader. But is the gamble of building a title contender from the midfield too risky, even for a driver of Alonso's talent? His competitive spirit thrives on challenges. He recently stated, Mercedes is behind us. It doesn't feel that attractive, demonstrating the kind of confidence bordering on arrogance that fuels his belief in a team still establishing itself. Let's not pretend this isn't awkward. Alonso and Honda have history and not the good kind. The fiery radio rants, the public humiliation, it nearly broke both of them back in his McLaren days. But Honda's transformed, they're powering Red Bull's dominance. Alonso, older and maybe a bit wiser, knows playing nice is the only winning strategy with a potential championship engine. Can he truly bury the past to reach new heights, or will the old tensions derail their ambitions before they even get started? The jokes about his age are just that, jokes. This guy's a fitness fanatic and the mind games, those are as sharp as ever. Alonso isn't just a racer, he's the ultimate strategist, manipulating his teammate, the team itself, even the engineers. That's where his true power lies. Can Stroll withstand Alonso's psychological onslaught? Will Alonso's demands push the team forward or create internal fractures? Yet, can anyone deny that Alonso's relentless drive still produces results on the track? Even at 42, he's capable of moments of brilliance that younger drivers struggle to match. Aston Martin wasn't getting the results they needed with Vettel at the helm. They need a different kind of fire, a leader who demands everything and maybe creates a little chaos in the process. Alonso is that guy, the definition of disruptive force. They're banking on his experience, his hunger, even the fear he strikes in rivals, to shake up the entire team. Is this a stroke of genius, or the kind of gamble that ends in a spectacular meltdown worthy of the old Alonso Honda days? Alonso's move didn't just change his future, it reshuffled the deck for everyone. Sainz, Perez, Albon, their dreams of a top-tier seat suddenly seem further away. Red Bull's locked down, Mercedes might be betting on fresh blood, and Audi is a long-term project. Desperation breeds bold moves and a frustrated driver could shake things up even more. What if a top driver jumps ship, or the fear of Alonso keeps everyone playing it too safe? The whole grid feels the ripple effects. This Aston Martin move isn't just a transfer, it's a catalyst. Will Alonso find his former glory or will the baggage drag him down? Will Aston finally break through or crumble under the pressure? The whole grid's going to feel the ripple effects. If you want even more on the legendary, sometimes controversial figure of Fernando Alonso, check out this video.